This is a video presentation of Winnebago Industries, where in Forest City, Iowa, we proudly design and manufacture motorhomes with innovation and integrity. The issue is money. Bottom line, it's money. At Winnebago Industries, we've set great ideas in motion year after year, decade after decade. Of the Fortune magazine's 300 most admired corporations in America, Winnebago Industries is ranked number 10 in innovation. Meet innovation. Money, innovation, and you. Winnebago Industries has taken a giant step in the innovative development of your largest profit maker, the N-Series, the Sunflyers, that have for the entire motorhome industry been synonymous with recreational vehicles. These units have been totally redesigned to bring our customers the best of comfort, safety, and innovation. We're going to take you on a grand tour of the Itasca. Every design change, every innovation, the way it works, the way it looks, the comforts, the luxuries, and some views you might otherwise not see. The Itasca is all new. From the stylish grill treatment, along the sleek aerodynamically canted walls, to the highly functional crowned roof and redesign of the rear of the coach. It's easy to see. We've changed things. Change for purpose. Change dedicated to the development of the most functionally innovative ideas, the best ideas that have made Winnebago Industries the world's most experienced motorhome manufacturer. One of those prime changes had the objective of providing substantial additional storage, while at the same time maintaining a sleek aerodynamic profile. This is how we did it. Let's compare the 88 to 89 Sunflyer. To create the new high level of storage, we raised the floor level by three inches, but the ceiling height only moved up one inch, which keeps the interior headroom at six foot seven and a half inches. The storage compartments, with their greatly increased capacity, are now four inches closer to the ground, which gives the Sunflyer an 11 inch ground clearance. In the bargain, the center of gravity has been lowered, and that has served to improve safety and handling characteristics. Furthering the objective of creating more usable space, Winnebago Engineering moved the furnace unit to this underfloor compartment and totally removed all above-floor ducting in favor of running all heating elements underfloor. This new heating unit was specifically designed for the N-Series, for the Sunflyers. It is unique in the industry and sets yet another standard in motorhome design. Of course, just looking at the new Itasca quickly illuminates several basic changes. The newly designed front end treatments feature an improved windshield angle of 35 degrees, which gives great visibility. A three unit front end where the cap, hood, and fender are individually replaceable and where the hood is one piece, allowing true ease of access, and the integrated bumpers set off the whole look. These design changes serve to shorten the nose length and at the same time accentuate the sleek aerodynamic front end styling. The windshield wipers are huge and they're mounted in steel. Keep that in mind, mounted in steel. The sidewalls, made of proven fiber span construction, have no protrusions, nothing to catch the wind, nothing to stop the symmetrical design flow. The walls are stepped in approximately two degrees at the top and some four degrees at the bottom valance. The newly rounded edges and corners contribute to overall aerodynamic efficiency, water runoff, and high style, combining to set the Atasca into the category of architecture. 
The treatment of these compartment doors complements the sleek, smooth contours by virtually eliminating the look of the compartment door itself and instead nearly conceals these compartments behind sections of the valance which give access to the huge storage behind. The large forward storage compartment features a courtesy light. In the 31, 33, and 36 foot models, there's a unique storage area across the rear section. It gives nearly a full five feet of depth. There's room for golf clubs, bales of hay, grandchildren. There's a lot going on back here in the new Sunflower. In this compartment, we've housed the spare tire. And in the newly designed rear canopy lid, we've put the 110 volt outlet with its convenient loop storage. And over here, the TV hookup. This new high style ladder gives access to the considerable storage above and it also lets you look at the uh, the uh, <clears throat> the passing <laughs> the passing scene. Before we go inside let's take this opportunity to set the record straight. When Winnebago Industries began the total redesign of the Sunflyer, one of the primary goals was to design in tremendous amounts of storage space. Well, we've seen some of that space, but not all of it. We've seen what's been designed in beneath the floor. And that brings up the issue of how Winnebago Industries designed a motorhome with all the storage your customer could ever hope for and how they made it look like this. All right, let's look at the hard figures. We're going to use the 1988 Sunflyer, the 31-footer, as our example. In 1988, that great unit had 43 cubic feet of underfloor storage. For 1989, the 31-foot Sunflyer boasts a huge 92 and a half cubic feet of underfloor storage. That is an enormous amount of space. Something over 200% that of 1988. Now, I want you to watch and listen. Just suppose that the compartment doors open to this angle, which is standard around the industry. Well, your customer has to do what I'm doing. He has to peer around and lean over and hold his aching back. Now, watch this. On the new Sunflyer, there is a spring catch mechanism which holds the compartment door in a fully open position and it allows your customers to load these compartments to their heart's content. In addition to more than doubling the underfloor space of the 1989 Sunflyer, engineering was clever enough to design in an additional 16 cubic feet above floor. What you see is what you get. The new Itasca is the reasonable progression from the basement at any cost mentality to the incorporation of sleek, aerodynamic, contemporary design with huge storage capacity. The facts are right before your eyes. No examination of Winnebago Industries' new N-Series, the Itascas, would be complete without a conversation with Ron Buckmeyer, the Director of Engineering for Product Development. Ron? Well, when we started this thing, Jack, basically we took a look at what had been evolving in the industry and, and of course everybody had developed the basement unit mentality. Yeah, right. And uh, we took a look at it and we said there's there's got to be a better way to do it. Obviously people want more storage, but there's got to be a better way to accomplish large amounts of storage without having to sacrifice the low profile that we're used to with our Sunflyer vehicle. How did you, how'd you work that problem out, which was obviously quite a problem, I'm well, sure. The first thing we did is we, is we said, we don't want to be way up in the air. So we took a look at what kind of headroom we had, what kind of a profile we had on our vehicle and available space, and we decided that we could raise the floor a little bit in order to get some more usable storage, to, in order to utilize that space uh, below the floor, without sacrificing overall height and without sacrificing headroom. Was this and furnace was developed specifically for these right. units, wasn't right. it? The furnace was developed specifically for the Sunflyer. I see. And it was uh, our, our supplier uh, worked with us to develop the furnace for this application, to test it, 
and I submitted it to UL and got it listed or to, to uh, AGA and, and had it listed for for this application. Probably about two and a half years ago when we started putting thought into action and alternatives. So two over two years in the development yeah. process. It is all brand new from the ground up. And, the, go ahead, I'm and, sorry. And basically it's the first all brand new from the ground up that we've done since the Sunflyer was first introduced in 75. And you're able to build a cab, you know, Detroit doesn't build a wood cab. Right. You know, right. and yeah. neither do we. Right. You know, exactly. and you can call it if you want to build it out of wood, you can call it a cab, but it's not a cab structure. So, so we can build a, a complete cab structure and all welded together, and it, it has, therefore, it has its, its own inherent integrity. Of course, one of the things that you accomplish that by is keeping low profile. Another thing we're able to do by do, integrating, by doing our own cab, we're able to, to adjust the steering wheel angle so it's more comfortable than what's traditionally available on, on the chassis and what, what the other what you're locked into if you don't start from the ground up and yeah. do a complete cab. The thing that, that when we went through this vehicle we said okay we have to be conscious of all available opportunities and by packaging the vehicle the way we did we were able to uh, design develop a new LP tank in conjunction with our supplier to be able to shrink that area that it takes up and still provide the same amount of capacity. And again, it was just another one of those little features that allowed us to provide greater storage. All of this outside storage that we attained, and yet we did that after we moved the furnace below the floor, after we moved the water center below the floor, after we developed the, the large holding tanks and the heated and insulated compartment. So it, it's just a, it's really compounds itself when that's you start right. to think of the engineering that's feat right. that's been done here beneath, the, to say nothing, what's been done above the floor. I thought it was important that you be here uh, as the representative of your project design group, and I congratulate you. We congratulate you. Thank you very much. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you for it. the opportunity. You're most thank welcome. You. Right. That's why we did it the way we did it. The new, all new Itasca is all that a basement model can be, and at the same time, it is the best of new, innovative, sleek architectural design in quality motor homes. The best of both worlds, space and style, from the leader in innovation, Atasca, from Winnebago Industries. Okay, let's go inside. You'll notice where my hand is. We've placed the handle for ease of access for nearly everyone. And here, there's a new three-lock arrangement, including this slide bolt for ultimate security. In addition to the light above the door, we've now installed lights here at the steps themselves to aid in nighttime entry. Among the many things to keep in mind is the space above my head. Consider six foot seven and a half inch headroom. And the Sunflyer looks very little like the typical two-story building with basement. This is where your customer spends a lot of his traveling time. Tell him, tell them, they're surrounded by a full steel driver's compartment. Tell him he's surrounded. They are surrounded by a full steel frame, a full compartment. There's no plywood here. The pillar posts are steel. They're integrated with the entire front section. This floor that I'm standing on, it's integrated with the entire front section, and it's steel. All steel, only from Winnebago. Windshields, mounted in steel. Now that's concern for the customer. Safety windshields, mounted in steel. New three-point safety seat belts on both front seats offer a level of support and protection that really makes a difference. Uh, would you show them, please? Thank you very much, young man. I'm happy to oblige. Works just like this. Just click. Simple as that. By the way, on the 28 and the 31 RQ Atascas, not only does the passenger seat swivel, but it telescopes and becomes part of the main living area. Back to you, Ed. The all-new and easily serviceable Itasca instrument panel offers the option of electronic analog or digital readouts. And it tells you everything. Just like they used to say, everything in its place and a place for everything. 
I call this the mountain window, moon window, whatever. There's veritable cinema, though. All right, next issue. A task engineers do respond to customer and to dealer input. Here's a case in point. The 110 to 12 volt converter, which used to be located in the back of the coach and hummed, has been moved here, under the passenger seat, in its own box. It still hums, but now no one hears it. The Itasca Concepts and Engineering Departments have developed a multifunctional privacy bathroom configuration that will solve a lot of problems and that will make you a real sales point. Okay, let's pretend that you, the customer, want the whole place to yourself. You'll buy no interference. The share and share concept is out the window or maybe down the drain. What you do is you close this bifold door and that gives you complete privacy for both the bath and the bedroom. And on the other hand, you may wish to close this door over the entire commode area. And once again, privacy. We've replaced the old shower door with this shiny glass modern version. And by the way, there's a new heat duct in the Sunflyer in the bathroom area. Is that important? Well, on those cool mornings, you bet your life it is. Right here, under my feet, are the holding tanks. 50 gallon black and 30 gallon gray water. The new style holding tanks are made of a cross-link polystyrene plastic, which gives far greater strength and their corrosion resistance. The tanks are mounted in their own platform, in their own cubicle, rather than hung from rails. And they're securely held in place by the floor, which covers them completely. The fuel tanks are made of heavy gauge steel and they're placed in their own compartments and held to the frame components by steel straps. The business of selling motorhomes, and you know this is a fact, that business is terribly complex, and yet, it's amazingly simple. When you start with a brilliantly designed and finely produced product, the most important ingredient you can add is knowledgeability. When that customer asks, whatever the questions, we want you to have the answer. So let's look at some hard figures. The LP gas capacity is now standardized at 80 pounds. And those LP tanks, they're bolted to the frame in their steel compartments, and they've been redesigned in a new shape, so they occupy less space. The fuel tank capacities are 60 gallons on the 22, 24, and 28 Chevrolets, and 80 gallons on the 31, 33, and 36 Fords and John Deere's. When that customer asks the question, and you've got the answer, then he knows he's talking to the right guy. Here's one of the questions that he may ask you. Can I get this rig in and out of my driveway? Well, of course, the answer is yes, he can. The departure angle of the 1989 Sunflyer is exactly that of the 1988 model, and that's considering that we've lowered the unit. Here's something really special. I call this the super mirror. This optional mirror not only is non-vibrating, it's heated, and it's electric. And it has a wide-angle lens at the bottom. Here's an improvement that, from my viewpoint, really makes a difference. What they've done is they've added a full five inches to the driver's door, which really makes it easy for old guys with cranky backs and bad knees, like me, to get in the driver's seat. If there's ever a need to check any of the automotive fuses, you'll find them here, under the new one-piece hood. They're clearly marked, and they're lighted. Here, behind the right front wheel, we position the house batteries. They're on a convenient slide-out track. The compartment itself is key-locked, and we've got them in dead space. We're not using any of the storage area of the 1989 Sunflyer. On the other side, we have an identical compartment. Room for chains, uh, teddy bears, muskrats, angleworms, uh, nearly unlimited. Say, would you mind uh, helping me? I'd like to have a demonstration of how the windows work, if you could... Thank you. That's very kind of you. These new tip-out windows, they offer the very best in ventilation and the best weather protection. Someone once said something about the journey of a thousand miles beginning with but a single step.
<laughs> well, if you throw your back out on the first step, you stay home. The 1989 Sunflyer makes entry a piece of cake. You know, the Sunflyer has a, a certain feeling of youthfulness about it, a feeling of solidity, but of stylish solidity. And here, for perfect line of sight viewing throughout the coach, is the area for the optional 13-inch color TV and the accompanying VCR. By the way, here on the driver's door, there's a new power window option. The Sunflyer for 1989 offers an array of color-fast and fire-retardant fabrics and upholstery that are color-coordinated for your customer's comfort and for their pleasure. The total redesign of the Itasca Sunflyer includes some new and very functional changes throughout the entire galley. The freezer-refrigerator combination is huge, it's recessed, and the wood grain matches the rest of the galley decor. And here, above the refrigerator, we've positioned all the house fuses and the air conditioning selector switch. We've included, as standard equipment, a new UL certified smoke detector, specifically for motorhome use. When your customer asks, does anyone ever listen to the customer, tell him we do, and show him this. The newly designed exhaust fan and outlet mechanism. Turn on the fan and open the exhaust door simultaneously. Two speeds, half and full. New for 1989, because our customers asked for it. The four burner stove is color coordinated in an attractive almond color with the range hood and the monitor panel. It and the optional microwave oven are securely held in place, as are all major appliances, by steel restraining straps. All in all, the Sunflower for 89 offers a greatly functional galley with quality built in to every convenience. Here's a nice touch that speaks to that commitment to quality. Fine carpeting with an extra thick pad that gives you additional comfort and insulation. By the way, the new Sunflyer offers traditional lighting throughout the entire coach. In the master bedroom, there's the option of twin, double, or queen size configurations. And storage, there is tremendous storage. And in addition to the storage that you see here, under the bed, there's additional storage provided by the magic of an airlift system. Okay, let's pick up some loose ends outside. The generator position on the new Sunflyer is here at the left rear corner, except for the 22EC and the 28RD where it's at the right corner. Your customers now have the option of either an Onan or a Kohler generator. The generator is totally isolated from the coach cabin area for substantial noise reduction. The access door is insulated and there is excellent access for owner service procedures. When you're talking about the generator, you may want to tell your customer that our engineers thought about it and they concluded they would run the generator exhaust pipe out from the far rear corner, away from the barbecue. A greatly inventive and very reasonable progression in the design of motor homes. The Sunflyer offers the best of both worlds. These quality motor homes give great style and usable innovation in all the creature comforts, in safety, and in function. No other motor home combines all these elements and additionally gives tremendous storage capacity. The issue? Money. Millions spent by Winnebago Industries developing the motor home, the Atasca Sunflyer, the heart of our product line. Atasca Sunflyer, the obvious answer, be it for the customer who wants a driving machine or for the customer who wants to take it all along, including the kitchen sink.
Itasca Sunflower. We didn't miss a thing.